Hey guys, it is Vera Sweeney and I am totally freaking out about the Infinity Wars trailer. I watched it a couple of days ago and literally I have been sitting here and thinking about it over and over again and Captain America, I have a bad feeling that your time on our Marvel planet is coming to an end. So here's the deal. I was on Pinterest looking for Marvel stuff and I saw this image and it says Captain America only has um, X amount of contracts contracted movies with Marvel and Infinity Wars is the last one. He doesn't have the seventh movie to take him to part two of um, that sort of movie title. And so when you really sit back and you look at the business side of things, I'm thinking to myself, did Marvel make a mistake and make that public knowledge? I mean, did they not think that we would figure that out? They're telling us that somebody's going to die. I mean, doesn't it make sense that one crazed fan would go and look to see how everyone's contract are running so basically Chris Evans does not have the enough contract time with Marvel to make it to the next movie but um, if you look at all the other people they they pretty much do so I don't know like major guy is gonna die major you know major player it could be a man or a woman major player is going to die in Infinity Wars and it's going to devastate us who could that be okay so like if vision dies Let's be honest. I mean, I hate to be rude, but is anybody going to flip out over the fact that Vision dies? I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I'm not so invested in him. He doesn't have that big of a backstory to me. Like, um, I, I, it's not somebody that is, is so very interesting to the point where I'm going to be uh, consult, like, inconce inconsolable. I was going to say inconceivable. That's like very Princess Bride. Um, and then, you know, obviously like Guardians of the Galaxy, none of them are going to die. They have, they're, they're filming. They're filming their next movie. Um, then you have Thor, like Thor and Loki. I can't imagine either one of them are dying. They, they, those, those franchises are doing really well. But here's the thing about Captain America. So if you follow James Gunn on Twitter, he's very unhappy with the current state of the country, right? And so I'm sort of thinking, is he going to make a political, non-political statement by killing Captain America because he believes the America that he once knew and loved is dead, right? I mean, I think he would do that. Like, I think James, like, if you follow him, he's all, like, you know, very, very unhappy with what's going on with politics and the current state of affairs. Let's just leave it at that. He has a position. He is in position to be able to directly respond to that in the movie in a way that is so subtle yet so direct by killing Captain America, who represents all that is good, all that is great, all that is just about this country, right? And so I'm sitting back, and I have interviewed James a few times. I've been really lucky enough to interview him because I work with Disney and Marvel um, on their blogger trips. And I, and I follow him because of that. And I said to myself, I think this guy is going to kill Captain America. And that one trailer scene, it's sort of messing me up because, you know, if you think about it, like the, the when he's, when, when Captain America's like all bearded and messed up and he's like fighting Thanos and he, they're like, oh, like, I don't know what to do. Like, who's going to win? It's like a struggle, power struggle thing. And then I thought to myself, okay, well, he wouldn't show that if Captain America was going to die. But then I'm like, would he show that? Because it's like reverse psychology of the res reverse psychology. Like, I'm thinking, no, he wouldn't show him dying because that would be too much of a giveaway but is it the opposite of that to confuse me like yeah I am showing this to you because you're not going to believe that he dies because I showed it to you do you understand what I'm saying because I understand what I'm saying so I'm flipping out because I love Chris Evans um I actually met him I'll tell I'll, I'll pop up the picture here I held his sword I mean his um his shield I mean like it was a totally awesome awesome um real, like meet up he's super kind uh I would be really bummed if Captain America died my only hope is that maybe Captain America like held on to the infinity stones or something and then maybe they took away his uh, you know, like maybe he became like human, like he could die normally. Like maybe he's just going to die of old age. Like that would be really nice. Like don't kill Captain America. Just really, he can't be an Avenger anymore. Can we do that to him? I'm freaking out, people. So that's it. That's my story about um, 
Infinity Wars, you better get to the theaters when it comes out because this is, I think, pretty much the best Marvel movie that has been made to date. I'm going to say it. The, I, I, like, almost cried watching the trailer. So um, let's stay tuned, and I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope it's Vision. Is that rude to say? I don't know. I hope it's Vision.